Hello dear learners, welcome again. In the previous video, I have discussed MCQ question, practice questions on chapter 1 of Banking Finance, SEM 1 FIB Com syllabus. So if you have not watched that video, the link is given in the description or you can find in the i button as well. So dear students, in this video, I am going to discuss the MCQ question, practice questions on chapter two of your banking and finance semester one syllabus. So what are those topics? Functions of bank, primary functions and secondary functions. So I will be covering all these topics in this video. So dear students, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. This is the channel link given and do share with your friends and relative. Okay, so let us move on to the first question dear learners the first question is giving permission to withdraw money more than the deposited amount is known as loan overdraft advance credit so if you have permission to withdraw more than the deposited amount that is known as overdraft facility b is the correct answer who has the right of note issue central bank commercial bank cooperative bank government in principle, it is the central bank who has the authority to issue currency notes. So A is the correct answer here. The ratio of total deposit that a commercial bank has to keep with RBI is called a statutory liquidity ratio, deposit ratio, legal ratio, cash reserve ratio. So this uh, ratio of total deposit that a commercial bank has to keep with RBI is known as CRR or cash reserve ratio. It is in short known as CRR. So D is the correct answer here. Demand deposits include saving account deposit, fixed deposit, saving account deposit and current account deposit, current account deposit and fixed deposit, all type of deposit. So demand deposit, that kind of deposit which is withdrawn on demand. So B is the correct answer here. Which one is included in the primary function of a bank? Accepting deposit, granting loan and advances, payment and collection of a check, both A and B. So here the correct answer is A and B, whereas this third one is not the primary function. Only accepting deposit and granting loan and advances are among the primary functions of a bank which one is included in the secondary function of a bank payment and collection of a bill and promissory note remittance of funds and pension payments distribution of third party products like bank insurance mutual funds issuance of credit card and debit card all of the above so these all the three a b c are uh, the part of secondary function which you have seen in the syllabus itself so all of the above uh, uh, is the correct answer Deposits accepted by the commercial deposit, which means what are the different types of deposits which can be done at the commercial bank, current deposit, saving deposit, time deposit, all of the above. Here again, there's all of the above uh, is the correct answer. What type of loan is advanced by the commercial bank? What are the different types of loan which are given by commercial bank? Cash credit, overdraft, loan and advance, all of the above. Again, these are the category or types of advances made by commercial bank. So D is the correct answer again. Which function is the secondary function of commercial bank? Agency function? general utility function social function all of the above these all these three are part of secondary it is the sub part of secondary function under secondary function we have all these so d again d is the correct answer here which is the agency function of commercial bank advancing loans accepting deposit act as trustee locker facility so here under agency function you will find uh, these two are the primary function whereas this act as trustee comes under agency function so c is the uh, correct answer here credit money is increased when crr false rises both a and b remain constant there is an indirect relation between crr and credit creation so when credit money increase which means crr falls so a is the correct answer if crr increases credit money will decrease so 
A is the correct answer. The main function of a commercial bank is credit control, loaning to other banks, accept deposits from customers, all of the above. Here again, correct answer is accept deposits from customers credit control loaning to other bank are the functions of central bank not the commercial banks c is the correct answer here commercial banks issue currency notes accept deposit from customers provide loans to customers both only b and c here is the correct answer this d d is the correct answer because issuing currency is the function of central bank Moving to the next, which is the general utility function of commercial bank? Providing safe custody and safe deposit walls, remittance of funds, pension payments, acting as dealer in foreign exchange market, all of the above. All these three are, comes under general utility function of commercial bank. So D is the correct answer here. So dear students, are you in the main examination, you may find one correct answer and all wrong answer. So here I have included all the three so that you can uh, remember it, memorize many diff the such type of questions I have included to uh, for your information okay moving to the next which is the non fund based credit facilities of commercial banks non fund based credit facilities so first one here option is letter of credit and bearing guarantee deferred payment acting as dealer in foreign exchange market both a and b so this is not the non fund based function first two are the non uh, fund based credit facilities so uh, both a and b this d is the correct answer here which type of deposit gives highest rate of interest saving deposit fixed deposit recurring deposit current deposit so again this is very obvious question if you deposit your money for long term for a fixed long term you will get high rate of interest Moving to the next, KYC stands for know your character, know your customer, know your client, both B and C. Here, uh, both B and C, know your customer or know your client are the same thing. So, D is the correct answer, this KYC which is used by banks. Which one is the punishable offense by a bank account holder? If a check is not crossed, if a post dated check is issued, if a check drawn by a person is dishonored for insufficiency of funds in his or her account issuing a check without signature. So here C is uh, the offense or the act which uh, you know attracts penalty or fine by the banks. C is the correct answer here. A money deposited at a bank that cannot be withdrawn for a fixed period of time is known as term deposit, checking account, saving banking deposit, current deposit. This is also very obvious question. If money is deposited, deposited for a fixed period of time, that is known as term deposit or time deposit. So A is the correct answer. Which of the following organization provides credit history of the borrowers? That is Sybil, Savies, RBI, IBA. The correct answer is Sybil. This C I B I L, which provides credit history of borrowers. Okay. So, what is the full form of Sybil? Credit Information Bureau International Limited, Credit Information Bureau India Limited, Credit Interaction Bureau India Limited, Cash Information Bureau India Limited. Correct. Full form of Sybil is Credit Information Bureau India Limited. Bank assurance means selling insurance product through insurance company, banks, cooperative society, chit fund company. Here, bank assurance is a concept where banks uh, tie up with the insurance companies to sell insurance product. So, this B is the correct answer here. As per the RBI circular released in 2016, there are dash broad category of the priority sector lending 5, 2, 3, 8. So as per this circular, there are 8 broad category of priority sector lending. Okay, D is the correct answer. So as per the this circular RBI release in 2016, there are eight broad categories of the priority sector lending. Which one is the part of those eight categories? Agriculture and MSME, that is micro, small, medium enterprise sector, export credit, education, 
housing, C, social infrastructure, renewable energy and others, all of the above. In fact, all these are the part of eight broad categories. If you see agriculture, MSME 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all eight are the correct answer here. So D, D is the correct, all are part of those eight priority sector lending sector. A bridge loan is a type of dash term loan option for buying property. Long term, medium term, short term or very long term. Here correct answer is this bridge loan is a loan which is uh, you know given for a short period, short term because suppose you want to sell your house, old house and you want to buy a new house, there is a gap of selling or it may you may not be able to sell your old house, it takes time so you can take a bridge loan usually there is a high interest rate on bridge loan so here c uh, is the correct answer what is slr a status liquidity ratio a statutory liquidity ratio a statutory line rate a status line ratio so correct answer is a statutory liquidity ratio b is the correct answer SLR is a minimum percentage of deposits that a commercial bank has to maintain in the form of liquid, cash, gold, other securities, all of the above. So, as per this uh, law, statutory law, the banks need to maintain in the form of cash, gold, other deposits. So, all of these form, three forms, the banks can maintain the deposit. D is the correct answer here. The auto sweep facility is a combination of dash account and deposit account. Recurring fix, saving fix, current fix, time deposit fix. So here correct answer is uh, auto sweep facility is a combination of both saving and fixed deposit account. In fact, you get advantage of both saving account as well as fixed account. The money after a certain limit if you your money increases in your saving account that money automatically move to fixed uh, linked account so that you get advantage of both uh, you know fixed deposit account how you get higher interest rate on that part of money and on the saving account you get lower so that is the auto sweep facility okay b is the correct answer here Auto sweep account balance can earn a dash rate of interest than a plain vanilla saving account. Higher rate of interest, lower rate of interest, fixed rate of interest, constant rate of interest. Usually auto sweep account balance can earn higher rate of interest than the plain saving account. So A is the correct answer. A promissory note is a financial instrument that contains a task promise by one party to pay another party a definite sum of money either on demand or at a specified future date. Verbal promise, oral promise, written promise, fixed. So promissory note is a written document. In fact, it's a written promise by one party to the another. Okay. So all the best students thanks so much if you have not subscribed please subscribe it thank you